Hi, this is Joan Conover. I'm the Cruising Station Post Coordinator for Seven Seas Cruising Association. This is a slide that I put through to help describe what the Seven Seas has to support our cruising hosts and our members. Cruising hosts probably need to know the best ways to reach out. Now, what is SSEA? To me, it's a personal view. It's not just passages and rallies. We're here 24 seven. Uh, we're actually cruisers, power, sail, we meet in harbors, online as we travel and visit. Our cruising hosts are a very important part of this, pro this program because actually they're places where we have contacts on the ground that can help when you go into a harbor. And you can reach them through this portal. Um, this is the Seven Seas Cruising Association website. You can see Seven Seas Cruising Association at www.ssca.org. On the left side of the homepage, you'll find updates. On the right side, you'll find some orange buttons where you can find either membership benefits, that's important because you're a member as a cruising host, news, and then you can find the Seven Seas U, and that is where we have our, all of our videos. And we are doing special series of videos for um, the current uh, problems that we're having due to COVID in both the Atlantic and Pacific. We have an SSCA directory and I'm going to show that to you later. One thing nice about the directory, you can look down at the bottom, you can click on cruising host based on country or bring up the cruising host in that area and you can reach out to them if you need it. And then we have some document libraries. It's actually a fairly dynamic member portal, uh, member directories, AIS map, publications, social media, resources, and libraries of information. Now here I am looking at some of the, the benefits that we have. And if you click on one of these, we'll bring up, say, free magazine for subscriptions. You get both uh, Blue Water Sailing and you get Ocean Navigator. This is our cruising station host. Additional publications, GAMs. GAMs are our get-togethers. Now for our cruising station host, with some of the new programs we have, we're going to be starting to do virtual coffees or lunches, and we can use our portal to reach out to allow other, our SSCA members to join in for free to talk to their local hosts and find out what's going on. You can find where the cruisers bulletins are, there's a ship store, Seven Seas University, we're rolling out some new programs there. We have port guides, we have cruising advocacy, and the cruising advocacy is very important. All of those problems that we've had with anchoring in the southern, in the eastern and southern part of the U.S., SSCA is working on that. We're working to see if we can help Trinidad and some of the other locations to help figure out what boats are doing or how boats are going to be operating in, in this new environment we have. And we're worldwide. Now, we also have an on-call cruiser assistance network, and basically it's volunteers. But key in that is SSCA's KPK radio uh, that happens to be Glenn and Edie, Edie Tuttle. And um, in partnership with Boatwatch, which Glenn also operates, which is an emergency locator or Coast Guard reaches out to them for help if boats are in trouble. The Caribbean security and safety net, that's a very important part in the Caribbean. They get reports of what's going on. You can go to their site and find out if there's a problem or things are increasing or decreasing or where it's safe or where there's issues. The Marine Weather Center, marineweathercenter.com, mwxc.com, that's Chris Parker. He joins in with us. We have a boat watch. We're trying to help cruisers out with a problem. Normally he will help with weather. Um, he's a wonderful resource for us. Uh, Glenn Tuttle, SSCA, we work with governments, cruising station hosts, members, and online resources. It's an on-call cruiser assistance network, and we're all trying just to help. So basically, you've got a mobile cruiser network of boats, people, families, and support programs. We stay in touch with the portal. We have a monthly cruisers bulletin. We have meetings and gatherings. We have our cruising station hosts. We have a volunteer assistance network. We can reach out. It's cruisers helping cruisers or helping those who want to cruise. We have educational programs online and at events. Again, I mentioned the cruising advocacy. We have marine sponsors and discounts. 
complimentary magazine subscriptions, and those alone are almost worse than the membership cost. Clean Wake. We believe in leaving a clean wake. We do assistance for foreign cruising areas, disaster support universities, research. And we have awards and cruising recognitions for, all, for our members who complete certain phases of cruising. So join SSCA at www.ssca.org for our monthly CHS series. That's not the only thing we do. We have the seven Cs. We have the Circumnavigators uh, Summit. But um, since I'm the cruising host, this is my, my particular area. And we're doing a monthly cruising station host series. We'll, we'll be doing coffees. And we're also doing public service webinars during these critical times. You will find them for free on ssca.org in the SSU area under free or non-member services. And you can see Trinidad. You can see the Canary Islands. You can see Antigua. Panama, Puerto Rico. We have the Pacific with uh, a tremendous reach from Hawaii all the way to Malaysia. We will be doing the western side of Mexico to Panama, and we will be doing the um, south, further to the west in the Pacific to include some of the areas of Africa, and then we'll probably do one that goes from Southern Africa to the Caribbean, covering that particular area and that stretch. Um, and all of these, most of them are in almost a chat format with the top people we can find to bring them in and just advert, say what's going on, because that's the most important thing for us right now, to know what's going on. Hi, I'm Joan Conover. I'm the Cruising Station host. And I want to show you a little bit of what you have when you're a member of SSCA Cruising Association. This is our web homepage, www.ssca.org. And you can see on the left, you have welcome, important news updates. Here's the seven C's link to get to our library areas. We're voting, photo contest. And then we have a Circumnavigator Summit video each month. These buttons are, are fast links to get to places. And across the top, we have areas that you can go and find things about our membership. For example, membership, we have news, we have a fleet map. We have a member directory, you can become a Commodore, new member welcome kit, and membership benefits. One thing that's really nice about SSCA, that fleet map. Now I'm going to bring it up so that you can see it. And this has been donated by Cruz reverse osmosis water and um, for our members they click here this is a um, segment or piece of uh, the marine traffic system and it's based on AIS so what you're going to see is folks that are actually on passage and their AIS systems it's going to take a minute to come up but you can see boats they're actually worldwide and I can zoom in but you can see that there's a lot of boats these are all boats on passage these are AIS generated messages and you can actually find where some of the boats are and then use the membership roster to, to reach out to them. Um, there are many more that are not transmitting, but right now these are the ones transmitting across the United States. There's quite a few in Europe um, and in other areas of the world. I'm gonna go back. This was the fleet map um, sponsored by Reverse Osmosis Water. logging in and I'm going to go to membership I'm going to show you the member directory remember this is under the membership tab you have member you just looked at the fleet map member directory here and this allows us once we have found somebody on the fleet map to go find them um, the name of the boat for example, um, my boat's Growl Tiger. Let's put in Growl Tiger. And I can search. And that will bring up our family and our phone number and a way to reach out to us. And that's always current. That's the most important thing about a peer-to-peer -peer network where you're trying to reach out to somebody is it needs to be current. 
all of your information needs to be current. Um, let me go and find a country. Let's do, um, let's do Japan. And here we have Mina Sato. She is actually our cruising host. And Crispin Morley is also a cruising host. Let's look at um, Canada. Well, this, this is all right. Um, but you can see we have, you pull up the name of the person, whatever, you can actually find them. Now you can turn that off. You don't necessarily have to um, have your information available to members. But I like to have my information available. And in case of an emergency or something, it's nice to be able to reach out and find someone as rapidly. I'm going to go back to membership services. I have a profile. Um, we have news. We have a member kit. You can donate. Services. This is really interesting, the forum. That's a way that you can send messages out to all the members. Um, you're going to subscribe to one or two of the forums. I'll take you to that. And it brings it up as a general forum, special interest. One area that I'm very interested in as a cruising station host is the COVID information. We have a cruising forum. We have a tech talk forum, life aboard, and a seven seas U forum. And let's go look at the general forum. And you're automatically subscribed as a member of the general. The other special interest one you actually have to ask to participate. And uh, you can ask and then it will be granted. Your forum membership and remember, I'm logged in. It's going to show me what I have automatic forms for and what I have optional forms for. And I can sign up for them. And I can stop all my foreign emails. If I say I don't want to be getting these emails uh, to my email box away for a while, can't access my email, I would turn that off. But let's go back to the forums. And the general forum here. I click on it and up comes word from partners. Uh, Bob and Jody Bitchin unfortunately lost their or may have lost their rant. I think they did. There's an Antigua entry system, Easy Clear. We have a seminar series for different areas. So they're, we're posting by different people things that are happening. We have a mobile app. We have cruising station guides. We have Seven Seas University classified equipment survey. Discounts for members, projects, and initiatives. We have photo contests and our partners. One thing very interesting about our partners, and you can bring them all up and find who they are. Predict Wind, Chris Parker's Marine Weather Center, Sailrite, Waterway Guide, Cruise Water, Cruise Reverse Osmosis Water, Curtis Stone, Dan Boder, DACWA, Allard Cole, International Marine Insurance Services, uh, IMIS Gallery, Passage Maker, St. Brendan's Isle. St. Brendan's Isle is wonderful. It's a way to have your mail forwarded and have an address while you're gone. Downtown Hampton Marine, Marathon Marine, Offshore Passage Opportunities, Pirate Lights, wonderful uh, ways to light your boat, Sat Phone Store, and then the uh, Yacht Gala Galapagos Island Services. Now, I would like to take and show you some of our events or things that you can get. We have lots of documents. We have publications. You can look at all of the cruisers bulletins for years back. And you can look at the GAM presentations. Let me show you these. The PDF files. Let's go to Annapolis GAM. And here you have offshore communications, you can have SARSAT, you can have urgent medical care. Let's look at the offshore communications. And I did that one, it's a, a, a Adobe Acrobat, and you can actually download the entire presentation and look at it. We also have a lot of other documents that you can look at or find. It's a tremendous history of many articles. The bulletins are absolutely fantastic. You can go back and search the bulletins I'm going to go to the bulletin area, instructions for searching the bulletin. Um, cruiser bulletin area here. You can see you can go back, pick your 
uh, fire Chrome or Firefox, this month shows uh, SSE at a glance, important notices, um, something from Soggy Paws, unconditional, Lizzy, um, information on Pitcairn Island, Hemingway International Yacht Club, Chesapeake Bay, Gam News, Circumnavigators, 70 year old birthday party for SSCA and view from the bridge. But what's nice is you can go and click on a year and it brings up all of that year's bulletins. You can also search on those bulletins. So you're going to be able to go back in the past, look at things. In many areas, things change. Some things they don't. And instructions for sailing and other details, really, really um, a tremendous use if you, when you have time just to sit and look through it. Um, one thing I'm also going to point out, you have ocean navigators, articles, you have a lot of services, you have information on destinations, the ship store, but this membership, the membership directory, being able to find people, being able to reach out with a forum. You can do class, your classifieds. You can volunteer, you can find out places to help. You can find out about destinations. It's a wonderful site to go to as a single portal.